Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Hey Lynn Vintage and happy 4th of July. This 4th of July, we are celebrating with a drop hop sale. If you have never shopped a drop hop sale before, really it's we're putting up videos that are pre-recorded every half hour and you would just go along at your convenience and watch those videos. If you would like to claim an item on any one of those videos, you would just type the letter or number, they're gonna tell you either letter or number to claim that item. You'll top, type that down into the description and then you would want to email that person your name, your YouTube name if it's different, your address, your PayPal email address, and then what item you would like to claim. It's pretty simple. This is my first time hosting a drop hop sale, but with all of my fellow YouTubers that are participating in this sale, there are eight, including me. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a great sale. So let's get started with the items that I have to offer you in my drop sale. So we are doing Christmas in July. So we've got some really great Christmas items. I'm gonna start off with these little Libby canisters. I have four different ones of these. I'm doing $5 each on these. So I have two that are clear. They are $5 each. These are seven and a half inches tall. I do have one that is red stripe. It is seven and a half inches tall also. They all have their nice little bottoms on there. And then I do have a smaller red one that is six inches tall, does have a nice bottom on it. I'm still doing $5 each on them. You can just put in letter E and then you could put red or clear or stripe so that I know which one you would like. So letter E, put in red clear or stripe. It's got like little snowflakes on there, but we'll just call it stripe. So those are my first items. Then I have still in its box. This is, it's been opened upside down. It's Pottery Barn, 12 Days of Christmas. This is the eight maids of milking so it has a little pitcher of a girl so this is like a creamer and sugar set and then it's got a little cow for the sugar with the spoon all in great shape all still in the pottery barn box let me get this on here correctly. Goes that way. Oh my. Ah, there he goes. Spoon goes towards the back. Really in great shape. Still has its original box. That states 12 Days of Christmas Pottery Barn. And this is going to be letter K for $28. Letter K for the Pottery Barn, eight maids of milking for $28. It's so cute. So my third item is this really great it's not quite a square tablecloth, but it's got like the Yule on it. The Yule log. Really nice bright greens with candles. It is actually 48 by 44 inches. I didn't see any stains on it. It's just got some really bright green holly leaves and the Yule log. And this is going to be letter Z for $25. Letter Z for $25. I love the pattern on here though. 
great colors. So then I have some fun Fitz and Floyd. This is the, the um, Essentials Snack Therapy Fitz and Floyd. I think he would make a really good spoon rest though at Christmas time next to your stove too. He's um, 10 inches long. He, let's see here. He is 14 inches long. I'm sorry, 14 inches long. And he is five inches wide. He does have, you can still hang them. He's got like little holes there that you could put a wire in. Fits him Floyd on the back. And he is $10 letter Y. $10 letter Y. So sticking with the Fitz and Floyd, I have a bigger one here. So this guy is 14 inches. Nope, he is 15 inches by 10 inches wide. This one is the Fitz and Floyd Classics Kringle. No chips or cracks on either one of these. This one is going to be letter S for $14. Letter S for $14. You'd be good to put cookies on, to send them to your neighbors. He's just really cute. So then I have two boxes of these handcrafted German paper ornaments. They are still in their original boxes sealed. They do state on there, handcrafted in West Germany, right there at the top. There are four in each box. These measure about two and a half inches across. They're like a very atomic star. You get the box. I do have two boxes, but they are $25 a box. This is gonna be letter O for $25. Letter O, and you could say if you would want one or two boxes of these ornaments. So then I have this really great handcrafted Um, tree skirt. This is 40 inches round. It's white and then it's got these little wreaths and Santas on there. I think one little Santa is missing a nose. Yes, he just needs a little red pom-pom. But there is seven wreaths, nine wreaths, seven or nine. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wreaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Santas in eight wreaths on this tree skirt. They've all been attached. It's 40 inches round, all crocheted, hand crocheted, super cute. I put it on my seven foot tree, it looked great. This is going to be $20, letter N, $20, letter N. So then I have new in box. This great scene, Baby Jesus, Mary. These are 10 inch like plastic blow molds. This is still sealed, never used. Baby Jesus is the only one that lights up. This is kind of like looking like his manger. Still all sealed. I mean, there's some tape on there, but this has not been opened. Still has original price tag on it from Kmart, I want to say it is, or some hardware. It's just a plain yellow tag. 
um, just baby Jesus lights up. He does work. I'll insert a picture so that you can see. We are going to do letter M on this new in box. This is from the 60s. $40 letter M. $40 letter M for the blow mold. So then I have this handcrafted Santa. He's got a really nice vintage face on him. Somebody really did a great job crocheting him. <laughs> they hung him with a paper clip. <laughs> He's in super great shape. He measures 15 inches from the top all the way to the bottom bell. He is going to be letter I for $14, letter I for $14. So then I have crocheted, still lots of crocheted stuff. This just reminds me of vintage Christmas. This is a huge crocheted doily. I like these when they have that fluff on there. This is a big one. This is like 22 inches from point to point. I mean, that is quite large. I love when it's got that. They've done this so that it fluffs out. These are great to put under your ceramic Christmas trees or anything on your table. This is in really nice red and white. So this is 22 inches long or wide, round, however you wanna say that. Um, this is gonna be letter T for $15, letter T for $15. So I have one other smaller little doily. This one's not quite as large. This one's only 12 inches from point to point. Still a really nice fluffy red and white. This one is going to be $10 letter H. $10 letter H. So then I do have a ceramic tree. This guy is 10 inches. He does not have a star. I just put a light up in there though. I'll make sure I grab that. All different colors, super great shape. He does have like an iridescence and a, I wanna say like a little bit of a gold flake on the edge of him. Really nice iridescence though. He does have a little stand. The stand does work. You just gotta make sure that it's sitting on there quite right. Cause it just kind of sets on there like that. So with the stand, he's like 12 inches. And you can buy stars or whatever for the top. I'll make sure that there's a light bulb at least for that. I just put in all different colored bulbs on here. He does have some little birds also on him, different colors. This is going to be letter C for $40. Letter C for $40. So my next item is going to be this wonderful Christmas tin. It is 10 inches round. It does have like some tape on it. I tried to get most of the tape off of the top just because this here was so pretty. But you can see there's a little bit of tape here. Um, I just didn't want to keep scrubbing it because I didn't want to wreck any of the design but it still has a great graphic on it. 
The inside, I kind of just wiped it out, is still really good. There's some water in there, but it's in great shape. There is some tape on the side, but other than that, still really bright red, 10 inches round. It's about three and a half inches deep. And this is gonna be letter D for, this is D, I might look B to you, but it's a D. And this is going to be letter D for $10, letter D, $10. Okay, so then my next item are these great paper mache angels. It's a set of three. So she's playing like a little harp and she's got like a little violin and she's got a little squeeze box, little They stand about accordion. That's what I couldn't think of. Oh my gosh, she's got a little accordion. They stand about uh, eight and a half inches tall. Their wings are about five inches wide on the back. They are marked Japan on the bottom on their little stickers. She doesn't have a sticker. They're still in great shape. Very mid-century modern. All three of these would be great on somebody's mantle. They are just, they're in great condition. So all three of the angels is gonna be letter G, and these are going to be $28 for the set of three. Our next item is this Little Otagiri Japan Santa and Fireplace. It's a little salt and pepper shaker set. They do have Otagiri on the bottom. I don't know if that's upside down or not for you guys. Hand painted Otagiri. They're in great shape. It's even got detail on the top there. Just little Santa in the fireplace. These are, always helps when I have the right side of the um, the fireplace is about three and a half inches wide and about two and a half inches tall. Santa is about four inches tall, sitting on his little stool. They still have their little bottoms. These are going to be letter J for $15 for the set. Letter J, $15 for scent salt and pepper shakers. So then we have just a couple of little flocked deer. They are like plastic, just flocked. There's no real markings on these guys. So I have no um, idea, but they would still look great with ribbons on them. Um, he does have like a little bit of discoloration here, but I don't know kind of just adds to them. Other than that, they're in pretty good shape. The tall buck stands with his antlers. He's about 11 inches and back hoof to snout is about 11 inches. The two fawns, um, Does, whatever you want to call them, fawns, does, five inches by four. They're both about the same size. The one's just got a little bit bigger head than the other one. So you get the set of three with 
his little little bit it's still got the felt there it's just discolored for some reason or maybe that's how he was made I don't know so all three of these guys would be letter P I was grabbing it from the wrong stack for uh, $22 for the set of three $22 all three of the little flock dear um, letter P so then my last item is this phenomenal cookie jar has pixies on it this is a Gilner I'm gonna take the lid off because I'm always scared I'm gonna drop it the lid is in great shape look at those pixies on there super great it does say um, schoolhouse. There is like one little paint chip. Um, it's kind of really hard to see, like right there. Other than that, they are in great shape. Just know this is quite a heavy piece. It would have to be double boxed to be shipped. It does stand about 12 inches tall. Um, widest points are like eight inches by about seven inches. Super great condition. These are made by Gilner that does have some like gold on there with the pixies. Nice huge cookie jar. This is going to be letter X for $40. This is my last item, letter X for $40. So those are the items that I have for you guys today. So just make a comment below on the item that you would like to claim, put the letter down there, and then email me as you would email everyone that is doing this sale, you would want to email them your name, your YouTube name if it's different than your real name, so that we know how to identify you, your zip code with your address, your address and your zip code, we need the whole thing, and the item you would like to claim, and then your PayPal email address. So just email the person, I will have my email right here for you guys, so just email me that, haylinvintage at gmail.com, and I will make sure that I get you a shipping quote because none of these items do include shipping. So I will get you a shipping quote. I do use Pirate Ship so that I will get you the best deal on the shipping to get those items to you. With that being said, I take pleasure in introducing the next person in the lineup to share their Christmas items with you. And that is Claudia K Vintage. So please make sure you go below check out where Claudia's channel is and see what she's got for you to celebrate Christmas and this 4th of July. With that being said, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who participated in this sale. I really do appreciate it. I was a little all over the place and they all helped me and they all were such a big help in helping put this all together. So, don't forget to check out Claudia and everyone else in this sale. With that being said, stay retro, my friends. I will see you real soon. Bye, everyone.